Oh, didn't see you there. Let's talk about Stadia. Welcome back, everyone. We are back with another video. It's been a while. Yes, it's been a while since we've done a uh, normal video on here. If you caught our last one, uh, I did announce this channel is going to be changing up a little bit. We're going to be adding gaming information from the entire spectrum, not just Stadia. Uh, it's going to happen in the middle of October. If you haven't already seen that video, it's in the top right. You can watch it right now. Uh, eventually, you're going to see this channel change a little bit. Uh, the name of it's going to be called Evolved, or in some ways, going to include the word Evolved in it. So when you get a new video on Monday, October 19th, and it's from that that's me. All right. We're going to still be doing Stadia stuff. We're going to still cover Stadia every single week. So going to be doing Stadia streams over on twitch.tv forward slash Brian evolved. And uh, Stadia is going to be a very important part of this channel still because it is my preferred way to play. I just want to talk about gaming all around the world. I mean, <laughs> there's times I want to talk about, you know, like the PS5 little thing I did right at the beginning uh, or, you know, the switch or, you know, Xbox or PC or just Anything in general with gaming, I want to talk about it as well as Stadia. So we're going to be opening it up again. We're still going to talk about Stadia. Right, moving on. Because we have stuff that's about Stadia that we need to talk about. Because a lot of stuff's happened over the last couple of days. Now, back at the beginning of the year, or it was at the end of the last year, one of the two. It's been a while. It's been a long 2020. Uh, there was a video I put up, and you can probably watch that in the top right as well, that I thought Stadia needed to do quite a few things to succeed in 2020. Now, this is pre-pandemic. Um, and I do think there's a lot of other things outside of what I put in that video because that was before all the communication stuff, all the lack of other things that came out. <laughs> this was just basic things I thought they needed to succeed. And one of them was this, was appearing in retail spaces. And apparently it's going to be happening pretty soon. Now, this is the only Stadia related thing outside of the Google web store you can find. This is the Google Stadia Premier Edition. So again, the Premier Edition included the controller and the Chromecast Ultra. Now, this is at the price that the Google store put up there. This is on Best Buy, by the way. And this is across all Best Buys. This isn't just on the United States side. It includes the white controller as well as the Chromecast Ultra at $100. Now, I was trying to find the SKU over at the Google Store, and I was unable to do so. I mean, I could look at my box and see if the SKU appears there. I was trying to make sure that the SKU is the same, because if it's different, who knows? Maybe something else will actually be into this one, because there's going to be something else we're going to be talking about in this video specifically that is going to kind of reference this exact thing I'm looking at. Uh, but this is big, uh, because you're going to see this box. Now, I don't i don't know where they'll put it in the store now if i was google i'd want it next to the playstation and the xbox stuff so when there's empty ps5 shelves and empty series x shelves you can see this and you'd be like okay what's stadia if you're not familiar with it you might do some research and be like okay that's a hell of a lot cheaper and i can play cyberpunk on there i can play madden i can play fifa okay let's do that and Maybe someone picks it up and like, oh, okay, this is good. I do feel like this will actually show up next to the Chromecast and the Chromebooks, uh, typically where the Google section's at in a Best Buy. Now, I don't know for sure. I could reach out to uh, someone that I know is very in tune with Best Buy, but uh, for now, I'm just going to assume we're going to see this product launch if it is in store. It should be in stores. It should absolutely be in stores. Now, I do think it'll be in the Google section, but I do hope that Google makes some way towards the video game section so they can have that front facing that's just free advertising at that point so i mean a lot of people are still unfamiliar with stadia as a brand and if they do know what Stadia is all about it's typically not a positive reception so this could be a very good thing for google to finally get their eye uh people's eyes on them right and i think they absolutely need that retail space so if you know i have a friend coming over or, you know like my brother i said i think in that video if if they're coming over like hey let's play something i'm like crap i have on stadia i only have one controller now i can go to best buy and pick up another one and i can get a chromecast ultra as well now speaking of chromecast because this is the really exciting news okay because i already own that stuff <laughs> on september 30th we're getting the next Google event. Now, this Google event is not Stadia related, but it's Stadia adjacent. So this is where the Pixel 5 is going to make its official debut. Another smart speaker is going to be coming out. And the long-rumored Sabrina. 
Now, there's the code name for it. Sabrina is supposed to be the next-gen Chromecast. Now, I believe in 2015 was the last time we saw a, the Chromecast Ultra. It might have been 16, one of the two. So it's been a while since we've had the Chromecast being updated in some way. Now, I don't think this is going to have too much information here, but here's what I know you know. The Chromecast that we're getting is supposed to be called Chromecast with Android TV. So it might be like an Android TV dongle with a Chromecast branding. So we can't necessarily say for certain how Google related, I mean, how Stadia related it's going to be. Now, people have been able to get Stadia working on Android TV. And as Google's launching this, you know, dongle, just like the Chromecast Ultra, which is going to be replacing the Chromecast Ultra. Obviously, it makes the most sense to kind of include Stay as a part of that. Now, my hope here is that with that comes a UI refresh within the TV aspect of Google Stadia because the Google Stadia UI on, well, everything is bad. But the worst <laughs> offense is on the Chromecast because all you get is just a long line of games. You can't purchase anything on there. The friends list doesn't always populate properly. Like I can look at my phone. And I can see all these people that are online. And then on the Chromecast Ultra, I see maybe uh, 10 of those people are actually there. Like I'm, I don't know what's going on with it, but it's also slow. I don't know exactly how it runs through the Chromecast Ultra when it comes to the menu and the UI settings, but it's very bare bones and you can just play your games. And that's about it. With this refresh, I'm hoping for not only a refresh for the UI itself, but there's also heavy rumors that the Sabrina is going to have Bluetooth capabilities, which is going to take out another cost for Stadia. Now, I don't have to have a Stadia controller. I can just pick up my PlayStation controller and boom, connect it to Sabrina or the Chromecast with the Android TV, whatever they end up calling it. <laughs> and I'm in. I'm in. And it's going to open up so many different possibilities. So you can have a Switch controller, a PlayStation controller, an Xbox controller, and a Stadia controller. I would assume all playing on the same machine. And currently, it's rumored that this Chromecast or the Sabrina or whatever you want to call it is supposed to be at a very budget price, even lower than what the Chromecast Ultra was at before that went on a, a nice price cut. So very excited. We'll be waiting September 30th. It's going to be at 1 o'clock Central Time. So definitely stay tuned to this channel around that time. I believe we will have... Um, yeah, the Stadia Initiative will happen that a couple days later after that. So we'll definitely be talking about it in that episode for sure. Now, here's some fun stuff. Some new shadow drops happened the other day. The other day being Tuesday. Uh, we knew Uno was coming because that was uh, listed in the Ubisoft press calling a couple of weeks ago. Um, not press calling, excuse me. Their um, uh, earnings call uh, when they do you know, their uh, quarterly... Uh, stockholder meetings uh, uno was mentioned as coming to stadia and then a couple days ago during the ubisoft ford a press release noted that uno is going to be launched on september 15th which was just the other day not only that but republic also showed up now i haven't heard the best things about republic's port on stadia just right now um i haven't picked up either of the games yet if i do pick one up it's gonna be uno but we'll, we'll get there uh so those two games came out on Tuesday for $9.99 each. Uh, currently, they don't have any kind of deals on it, but they're pretty cheap. Now, the other new game coming out is from 2K. Now, <laughs> anyone that followed my PGA uh, little adventures a couple weeks ago knows how leery I am on the 2K releases right now. So as far as I know, NBA 2K21 had a decent release on Stadia. I didn't pick it up on Stadia there, but... Uh, 2K Battlegrounds is something I've been interested in because I'm a huge wrestling fan. I mean, I'm wearing a Young Buck shirt for crying out loud, but this is very uh, far off the beaten path that I'm used to. Now, I like my simulation sports. That's no secret. Battlegrounds is not a simulated version of WWE. The 2K19, 2K20 games were simulated. You know, 2K20 had a lot of problems, which is why you're getting this version of a wrestling game instead of your typical simulated style. This is going to be interesting. Now, this is kind of like the spiritual successor to WWE All-Stars that came out right at the end of last gen, I think. Uh, but it's going to be a budget title in terms of pricing. It's $39.99, which is not a bad introductory price to a brand new IP, essentially. So that's going to be one to watch. It comes out on Friday or it'll be tomorrow as this video lands. Uh, we also got confirmation from Stadia themselves about Risk of Rain 2. So Risk of Rain 2, I believe, is a first on Stadia, if I'm not mistaken. No, that's not the first on Stadia one. 
Is it? It is. It is the first Unsteady one. I won't show the uh, trailer here, but it can definitely link it in the description for you. And we also got some new sales, pro deals uh, for pro members, and of course, sales for everybody. So if you're looking to pick up Monopoly, it's back on sale. It's $18. It was $10 at one point. So if you're looking for a cheaper deal on Monopoly specifically, you'll definitely be able to get it. Rise of the Tomb Raider is on a significant sale. $10.49. That's a huge, huge discount. And of course, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is at $19.79. So uh, those are some highlights from the uh, list of sales here. Of course, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I implore you to pick up uh, Stadia Pro just for this if you don't have it already. So, uh, But those that will do it pretty much. So a lot of interesting stuff happened here. I'm trying to kind of just condense as much as possible because a lot of stuff did happen but what are your thoughts on everything uh the new chromecast how what are you hoping for what are you expecting on the stadia side of it and did you pick up any of the games that came out this week and of course you know the, this is this is cool i really like the fact that best buy is going to be carrying the premiere edition i'm hoping they pick up the controllers as well soon uh there was a little blurb when you t- i believe when you type in stadia here um that the controllers are not there as well so yeah controller not available in store so uh hopefully in time that will happen but we don't know in the meantime thank you again for stopping by if you're new to the channel get subscribed turn that bell notification on and like this video because it does help other people find this channel just like you did and of course we'll be back tomorrow with another episode of the stadia initiative and again if you missed that video i did the other day about the channel changes coming up TSI will be going to Chase's channel starting on October 30th, which is the first episode after the rebrand. So again, I want to thank you guys for your support and we will catch you down the road.